This is a Garrett turbocharger taken from a VW Passat 1.9 TDI approximate year of manufacture is 2002. The exhaust turbine on the turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gases coming directly from combustion in the engine. The shaft that the turbine rotates on is the same shaft that rotates the inlet impeller on the other side of the turbocharger. The faster the turbine rotates, the faster the impeller goes, ramming inducted air into the inlet manifold and cylinders. The shaft is lubricated by engine oil coming under pressure via the oil pump and returned at an extremely higher temperature to the engine sump by a return pipe. If the wrong oil is used, the supply to the turbo will ultimately become crystallised and reduce lubrication. Likewise, if the supply pipe is kinked or split, lubrication will be reduced and damage will occur to the turbocharger. To reduce over revving, a waste gate is fitted to the turbo housing which is operated by a vacuum operated diaphragm. When opened, the waste gate redirects some of the exhaust gases into the exhaust system, allowing the turbine to operate at a safe speed for the turbocharger. So why did this turbocharger need to be replaced? In this instance, the rotating shaft has excess lateral play caused by lack of lubrication.